of skating partner Axel, and my question is, out of all the 21 years, what was your favorite memory of skating together? And my question is, how did you guys pick your music? Bye! Bye. <laughs> Great question. That, that is, and uh, do you remember being that that young? Yeah. Wasn't that long ago, was it? <laughs> <laughs> you tell them, Scott. So, wh how do you pick your music? I personally love that you decided to do. Is it called the exhibition dance? Mm -hmm. It was your last dance with uh, to Gord Downey. Well, I mean, that was sort of a natural choice. We're both such big fans, and about a week after uh, he died at Skate Canada International, Scott um, looked at me and said, "We have to do a tribute. You know, he's been such a part of all Canadians' lives, and and it's a nice way to sort of feel connected." To the band. And we're all weeping. Uh, long time running. Long time running. That's long right. Time, to the hip. Yeah. Long time yeah. running. Yeah. What was the other question? Well, there was Moulin Rouge too. That yes, that's right. Um, the first one was favorite moment favorite skating moment. together. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how do you narrow it down? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've talked a lot about our partnership, but uh, I think the coolest thing is that after 21 years or 20 years, 20 and a half. <laughs> We still love going to the rink and, and working together and, and doing uh, projects together, even outside the rink. And I mean, that's pretty neat. Mm. I, I don't think people understand how intense our relationship is. Uh, because I, I, we spend arguably, so much time I think together. people do, <laughs> people do oh, believe in the chemistry. But still like hanging out with each other. I mean, that's an accomplishment, I think, especially with how obnoxious I can be. <laughs> well, let's narrow, let's narrow it down a, a favorite moment. And I'm going to put some parameters on Oh, that is I'm, pressure. I'm going to put yeah. some parameters on Try it. To deep let's question. say favorite local moment. Because mm. we have so many skaters watching us who are now going into the, to competitions. And we're talking about competitions not just in London and Toronto. But we're talking about Bala. And we're talking about those long winter drives in snowstorms <laughs> to, to, to go to, to these. Do you have one in particular? And I bring up Bala because bringing my daughters to a, a competition there, I remember the snow storms and, right. and getting through it and defying death just just to get <laughs> yep. there is there one local like Ontario that that sticks out in your mind well for us we, we had to always drive an hour to Kitchener Waterloo to, to train so we would, would sleep with the pillows you know <laughs> kind of like that in the back seat but you know what's funny from our childhood is what we remember most is going for ice cream afterwards or swimming in the pool like it wasn't so much about the competition, more about, you know, the moments around that and the family time that we've had. And we've been very blessed to have great family support in our career, and, and that's what makes it special. And still, in, in, in Korea, we had a bunch of family that came over, and that's still what made it most special. So that's pretty neat. You're both so talented. You're so moving to watch. So we want to know, where can we see you do what you do best? And the best in the world more what is ahead for the next year are you even planning or do you just want to chill out for a bit <laughs> well for the next several months we'll be touring and performing in shows like stars on ice which will start in halifax and make its way across to vancouver and that's such a special way for us to take the ice without the pressure of, of being judged but also just mm. to to share in the excitement with so the people good. who have supported us all along you, you bring up a really good point there because uh, I, i've actually hosted a lot of different competitions as well and when you bring in the superstars there is because you're there, you're right that that ten doing mm -hmm. it for the passion of it yeah the pressure's off and uh you know tessa talked about the support we've gotten from fans it's it'll be a, a big thank you uh, back to our canadian fans and what an honor for us to be able to go across the country and make 12 stops and and kind of share um, the year that we've had with, with the fans. Well, this next honor is going to pale in comparison to all of <laughs> your so awards. This, this, is is it. this has never, ever, ever happened in the history of breakfast television. Wait for it. Come on on, Marco. Marco is our cowbell guy. Oh, my goodness. Marco is in charge of the Friday cowbell. Be sure and he has never allowed anyone else to ring the cowbell yeah. on a Friday. Would you both grab the cowbell? It is Friday. You're watching breakfast television. Yes. <laughs> That's one more time.